Hey guys, and welcome to episode 9 of our Divinity playthrough. Um, last episode we actually did quite a bit. It, we, I believe we fought the turtles in the last episode. We also found a shipwreck that was on that beach as well. And then we came and explored the back of the cave. I believe all we have left now would be to go down to the arena and check that out. So we'll be doing that and we'll see about trying to get out of port or joy here soon so I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get started here so we'll first wander back into the town and the cave the frogs are gone the children shall be safer I see the good in you I see all of you okay so yeah we helped out the children a little bit by doing the frog thing which is always nice to do is these people have it pretty bad here all right, so still have to come back to talk to that dog later on because right now we cannot uh, do that just because of the fact that we have our cat with us. So that'll be something we'll have to come back and do in a little bit. So let's see, we're going over here to the arena because I think at this point that's about the last thing we have left to do. So I guess here we go. Let's hope we can do this pretty well. First I'll come and grab these vases, see if anything's good in there. Looks like we got a journal entry for the arena, and we just have to compete in it. I guess that's pretty easy enough at least. Looks like there's quite a few people to talk to here, so we'll check that out in a bit. But I want to explore everything because just like you see there, you never know what you're going to find. And hopefully once we get out of Fort Joy, or at least after this, we'll start having a few more interesting things happen with us. So we'll give that, hopefully that'll be something that happens, but we'll see. Alright, let's see what these people have. Um, girl in the middle seems pretty appointed. Important, so I think we'll wait for her. <laughs> a deep grumble emerges from him, as if from an endless cavern. Your bones vibrate to the rhythm of his greeting. Well, get a load of you. You got swagger, I'll give you that. But I reckon I could squash you like a bug with just my left thumb. Hmm. You know, we're just gonna ignore the comment and ask him about the place. Look around, Elf. What you see is what you get. It's a fighting arena. You step into it when it's your turn and take wax or whatever comes barreling towards you. Glad I found it. Spent half my life ripping apart men and mages, sometimes for pay and sometimes for fun. If I've got to be stuck in here, I might as well prove I'm the one. You know what? We're going to use the female response and ask if he's ever had the privilege of facing a woman in battle. Sure, as powerful as anyone else seems to me, my blade doesn't discriminate. It cuts a woman's throat just as cleanly as any man's. Um, we're going to ask about oh, who or what is the one. The one is a living god. Might sound crazy to you, but it's just the way of it. You battle in the arenas. You get divine power if you come out on top. Hmm... We're going to ask him if he thinks he really is the one. Yep. One thing the old woman taught me is to ignore anybody saying they're better than me. And let me tell you, Runt, by the looks of you, I ain't got no reason to stop believing her now. He grumbles what sounds like a farewell. Huh. Interesting guy. She sizes you up as you approach. Her eyes narrow. You've yet to experience the joy and pain of true combat, I see. Hmm. We're in a shrug. You're a good hood at fighting, but there's more to life than battle. Not much, I wager. Should you wish to ascend as the one, you must aspire to more than mediocrity. Yet I see potential in you. You have a reason to fight. You could go far. Um, we're going to ask her about 
what she means by saying going far. This is how we worship. This is not just an arena, but a temple too. A brutal warrior will ascend. We'll celebrate this hero as the one. Um, we're going to ask her about the one. Who or what is that? The spirit of the one is everywhere. It exists beyond us, yet will someday live in one of us. Um, we're going to wonder if she really thinks you could become the one. I believe you could, but it's not certain. That's a tale only you can tell. Huh. I think... I think for now we'll just thank her for the information and take our leave. You'll return. This, I know. Huh. Very interesting lady there. She has really high hopes for us, apparently. Ooh, another vase. We'll take a pause from talking to people. <laughs> Alright, now let's see what this little dwarf dude has for us. Nice. Just nice. Hopefully the next batch is better than nice. Okay. Uh, I guess we'll talk to the banished one. The old man looks you up and down and smiles. Will you fight? Um, say you will. I will watch with great interest. Okay then. We seek the one. I guess it's talking to the elf chick and seeing what if she has any more about this. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. There can be only one, and you have but one chance. Okay then. We're gonna say we're wanting to fight. Good. Who aids you? Choose wisely. Whether you fail or succeed, you do not fight more than once. Well, of course we're gonna want our, our party members to join you. Oh, and we just start right away here. All right, so let's see what we got. Long, we got some magic user, or a magic user. Looks like a fighter, a ranger, and then a dog. I think I'm gonna come up here so my spells get a little more power to them. All right. So I guess these two are pretty close together, so I'm gonna hit them with some ice. Get a flesh sacrifice in. And let's see if we can happen to get this dog teleported anywhere. Well, actually, the dog's not too much of a worry for me. So I think we'll actually take this knight and we'll try to get him as far away as we can. Which I think... Oh. I think over here will be our best bet. Oh, cool. A little bit of poison to damage his armor. Ooh, and he came, came right after me. Alright, Losa. I think actually with her spell with her stuff I think she could use the range as well so we'll pop her right up here all right four slots left summon a poison and summon and we'll do an oil summon all right that hit him with the poison dart not enough AP to get close there, so I'll come over by this guy. Alright. Some frost armor. I should decide to restore the dog up a little bit. Ooh. Hit our incarnate with some fossil strike. got taken out quick <laughs> all right I guess our next move a 
I'll continue this because the dog right now can't touch us, so let's try to take out this guy a little more. We don't really have much to hit us from a to hit from afar, so I'll use a scroll on myself because it took down a little bit of my armor. I think with that we'll leave it for now. Alright, Losa. You got this. Bring us some more summons to help us. Glory is mine. Encourage on us, and I guess the summons. And we'll hit him with that. Alright, and that's all she can do for right now. Alright, okay, got one out. She is just taking out all of our summons. And the knight is now close by, so we'll have to watch out for him. Alright. I really do not have a lot of spells that can help us here. Oh my god, is the dog gonna get hit? Ooh, am I actually using that? Yes! It's blinded. Alright, I guess we'll end our turn there with that. Perfect. Fire Mage is coming down, so her attacks will be a little weaker on us from now on. And she allowed us to summon a fire totem. Alright, let's see. Kind of. I'm scared of both of them, honestly. But I think... I think I'll aim for him because he has to get close to us anyways. Alright. Now I can just hit him with our wand at least once. Alright, and I think that's it for that round. Yeah, the dog won't be able to touch us, so that's at least one person out of the loop. Alright. Kill take. Perfect, got him out. And now we'll start whittling her down a little bit. Alright, so far we're still sitting pretty good for health. So I'll just save up our points for now. Of course she decides to do that. Alright, Losa. Let's do some work here, come on. I get where I'm just keeping you all on this platform, but it's fine. It's fine. Alright, boost some of that armor back up so we don't lose a lot of our magic armor all at once. I think with our last point, I'll move her out of the fire a little bit. And he took that totem down quick. Looks like he missed that totem. Alright. And then we'll just continuously hit her. Not, not too much else we can do right now. Oh, the dog's out of range. But she is not poisoned yet. So you know what, I'll I'll just be weird and I'll throw her back into the poison. And hopefully if she moves around she'll get that poison. Oh. And I will use our rain spell here. Get rid of the fire. Perfect. And nice, she's poisoned. But she did frost armor up and restore herself, so we lost that poisoning against her. Losa, you get back up there. Two more turns, and if we need to, we can summon our incarnate again. Alright. Nice little ice totem this time. Yep, 
Yeah, they're just slowly whittling her down. Oh, nice. It's stunned her. Took out that totem. Alright. Keep going, guys. Alright. And yeah, until my spells get back, there's not much I can do there. Alright. Summon just a regular wood totem this time there. See if we can take her out. Yes. Alright, now it's just the dog we have to deal with. Oh, I missed, but at least I got the burn in there. And with the totems, hopefully we can take him down a little bit more. Which, of course, he decides to take out one of our totems. But that's alright, because we can just hail strike him. Kinda wish it did a little more, but we can hit him with that. And our last one. Well, that was easy. Whew. That was interesting. <laughs> Congratulations to our champion. I guess we'll talk to her and see what she has to say. Because obviously the one something has the to happen here. You may yet be the one. You prove yourself again and again and again. A warrior traveling the path of the one should not be collared like a pet. I suggest you see the tinkerer. You are capable of so much more. Okay. Ooh, Patience and we get some rewards easy, here. Anything super good? Well, I want to keep the teleportation gloves right now until we can get the spell for ourselves. You don't become the one by the one just a max. Could get a little more I'm physical armor with our boots and give us some HP. Because I don't really care about some of that stuff. Each day brings us one or I could get Losa a better shield. I think this might help out her shield a little bit. No I think we'll go lost. with the boots. And all I like the, the fact that it gives us a little bit more physical armor boost and then gives us 6 Someone HP. Alright, accept that reward. I will be but wearing the boots. And Lusa will actually be getting an upgrade here. So that'll be nice for her. I'm curious if I can get Losa to do this too and possibly each day see if we can get her to lose that collar too. You may yet be the one. You a warrior traveling the path of Okay, so she just comes up with the same line, so we'll move on. I guess we go to the Tinker now. And get Hit that take that collar taken off. Here's the goods. So yeah, we'll ask her to remove like her collar it. now. Got it. So yeah. I think that's about all we have to do right now, so we'll run over there. And then yeah, I think after that we'll head down and start exploring for Withermore's soul. Alright, let's do this. It's you. It's really you. You gave him hell, did ya? Um, assume she's talking about your victory in the arena, and describe how you won. She sits at full attention, utterly wrapped in your retelling. It might just be you. The one. You might be her. Nod, you're the reigning champion of Fort Joy. She clasps her blackened hands before her, and seems for a moment on the verge of weeping. Then you're our best out. You may become the one. I'm um, where I ask why she seems so moved over a simple arena match. You don't understand. The one is our only hope for getting out from under the divine order, for making saints of the world again. The one will become divine. You may be the one to save us all. Hmm. All right, we'll ask her what we should do now. There's only one thing to do. I've got to set you free. Your collar. Let me take it off. I'm um, going to agree immediately. You can't wait to get at the, this thing off of you. What a privilege on me. She manipulates the ring around your neck in several quick yet intricate motions. Off pops your collar, and a sense of relief swirls from deep within you. You hear me now. You get out of this place. 
you keep fighting. You become the one. And you think of old Nibora when it's all over. Ah. Well, I'm glad Ed, we got the collar off, and I'm glad she's happy about it. Um, let's see, I think... In this, yes, a Hala's necklace. I'll put that book back, because I didn't notice that I hadn't put that there. So now, we're gonna have a nice little necklace with us. I know we have to take that eventually to Sahela, but Sahela's people, but for now we'll wear it. And I'm gonna see if Losa can talk to her and get her collar off as well. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts, and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? Huh, I guess it's gonna take us through the quest dialogue again. I think I'm just gonna take our leave with it. I guess if anyone wa that's watching this ha knows of what might happen if we go through that again and try to do it again, let me know. But otherwise, I'm gonna just continue on. Um. So now that we have our collar off, I'm kind of curious what the guards are gonna think. Who then? What the devil are you doing without your collar? Okay, so apparently they don't like that too much. So we're just we're just going to be blunt about it and admit that we had it removed, but we intend no harm by it. No harm? I've heard that before. Right before a sorcerer blasted a hole through my partner. Okay, so they must be taking us to jail, so I guess we're going to draw our weapon and fight these guys. So you'd rather die here and now than be cured, would you? Fine by me. Oh, and I guess Ifan is helping us out. And he has terrible stats. Okay, man. There you go. There's a heal. We're not going to leave you completely in the dust. Alright, hit him with that. I'll just use our staff, save some of our other harder hitting spells for later. Alright. Alright, Losa. You know what to do. Hopefully at least. I mean I'm I mainly am the one that needs to know what I'm doing. Alright, and this will boost our magic armor. Now let's encourage everyone on the field right now. Alright. Hit him once. I think I will go with the poison dart because that does a little more damage right on her. Alright, well at least he can get some fire arrows I guess from this. Attack of opportunity is always nice. Alright. You are within my range, man. Have fun with that. Alright, I think I'll have the summons deal with her. And we'll just try to take him out a little bit. And if Anne is continuously getting hurt from the fire, so we'll try to help him out. And I think, oh actually, I'll take a flesh sacrifice, and he's not poisoned, so just because of how few enemies and how close we are, I'm going to teleport him right back to the poison. Ooh, she's pretty skilled, we might not be able to hit her from there. But that's fine, a poison totem should be able to do that. Hit him. Ooh. Okay. Do a shield up just because we have a little less shield up right now. Alright, got that. And it looks like we're leveling up. So that'll be nice. Alright, you need to move out of the flames. Can you hit her? Yes, you can. Perfect. 
perfect. And don't have enough AP, so I'll just do one to get closer to her. Ooh. And she just healed up, didn't she? Alright. My oh, path interrupted. Ugh. I'll have to figure this out real quick. Let's try from here. Path is still interrupted. Looks like we can get through. Maybe in. No. It looks like we're gonna have to come around here. Alright, that's fine. Maybe. Let's see if we can get a good angle here. There we go. Just barely, but we got it. Alright, with that, we'll end our turn. All encouraged again. All right, Losa. I guess we're just gonna spam some poison. Um, let's see if I can get Losa at a good angle right here. Yeah, nope, doesn't look like it. So we'll bring her up to there. But sadly, that makes it so that we can't do anything. So we'll end our turn. I think I'll use the three to get him right up close and personal with her. Even though that makes it so his turn is done and over with. Ooh, and she's really taking him out. Alright, he got in there at least a little bit. I can get in there with some hail strikes. And I think we're honestly kinda out of s little tricks to do, so. Um, actually, he's close enough. I'm going to do this to help the incarnate out a little bit. And we'll end our turn for her. See if we can't summon another totem to hit her. And then heal the incarnate because he's the only one that does most of this damage here right now. Alright, and end our turn, I guess. And yeah, it looks like at this point it's just gonna be the incarnate unless we go diving in there. I guess if Anne's gonna get in there and do some damage. Alright. Yeah, path interrupted. Not much we can do. You know, maybe if, if Anne figured it out, we can come over here too and get it figured out. No, our path is still interrupted. Alright. Guess we'll just end our turn. <laughs> There's not too much we can really do Glory there. Perfect, finally! We did it! Alright, check out these guys and then we'll level up here. Alright, not, nothing too terribly interesting, but... Alright, let's see what we get today. Alright, how's our memory slots going? We got one left. Uh, I think that should be fine for now because we don't have necessarily a lot to trade. But I think... Because most of my spells are intelligence based. How's our constitution? 146. You know, I'll do one more memory slot and then constitution just to help always be upping our health throughout this. And I think... So our water's up to four, so I guess our air, electricity, whatever they consider it, will go up to four as well. And of course she only does summoning, so another summoning level for her. And... I think from memory slots, yeah, she has one, 
I'll probably just give her another one just because because I believe now that we're level 4 we might be able to get some new spells so first things first I would like to look at what our spell guys have to sell I think it was this guy Change and the lizard my offer, yeah. I will just trade with him real quick so I already know that one and this is when we can get teleportation right now we have the gloves so I'm not gonna worry about it until we get some better gloves shocking touch a favorable wind we already looked at that one uncanny evasion target characters dodging is increased by 90% and movement speed is increased by 20% okay and Daz dazing bolt An electrical bolt falls from the sky dealing air damage to characters in the area and setting shocked status that might actually be pretty good I believe that is electrical electric discharges more powerful move so that might be an interesting one um, for now we're in the decline oh, no good luck with you and then we will come over here to the lizard guy and see what he might have but we have one good option as of right now so let's see what he got for some stuff I feel it will be quite some time before we find any answers at all my friend though it doesn't hurt to ponder all right what, what you mm -hmm. got for sale goods ah yes here's of course have a look all right soothing cold so that will regen and our magic armor for all our allies around us so that might be pretty cool just to have that constantly regening frost arm armor frost that instantly boosts us all right no hail strike so ice fan we do three target positions and shoot an ice shard at each one dealing nine to ten water damage and making targets chilled um, we already know rain and restoration and then we have winter blast deals 21 to 23 water damage and sets chill old stats on enemies in the area free it frees is blood and water surfaces so it's either we get electrical blast which is super good or a winter blast which is super good um I think I I lean more towards I guess the ice stuff a little more I think we might wait on ice man just because I usually try to target one enemy at a time a little bit so I'll do winter blast for is I think it's a range it has a little bit of a range to it but we'll get that one and see if we can get the other one just because it would always be nice to get more spells out all at once but I mean we can always come back once we do some more exploring around all right I and mean, we have no one that does geomancy so that can be gone so that um, I'll sell one of you Ooh, we're so close all right I'll do that one and that's like two gold so I'll just give him the gold because he doesn't have much gold right now all right we got that one all right so we'll learn this I'll, pre I'll just reorganize my hot bar here off camera once I'm all done. Biz, I think Biz, we're probably out of time, so change your mind about my offer yet? I will just see if we can get this spell, and then we'll probably end our time here. Um, give up all those scrolls. I think if we just do money. Oh yeah, we're sitting really good on money, so we can get that one as well. Alright. 
And oh, declining no. Declining again. But after the magisters take you all, your nobility will have been for nothing. Good luck with your friends, though. Enjoy your last days in good company, won't you? All right, man. All right. All right. Learn that skill. So now we got two more spells under our belt, and we can still learn one more. I'll probably wait for a little bit on that. But so with that, I think we'll end it here. It, I hope, really hope you guys are enjoying watching this for people that are watching through the series. Next episode, we'll go down the in the to the tunnels that Withermore told us about. And we'll also kind of check out the spell books that Losa might be able to learn now that we're a higher level. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Oh, and if you did, I would I really appreciate if you left me a like. And if you want to continue to watch this series and get kind of updated on when I'm uploading, you can always subscribe. Hope you guys have a great day.